Hey everyone, today I have a live model. I know you all love live models, and this is Nick. Nick, what's going on, man? How you doing? How are we doing? Good, thanks so much for coming in. So, this is awesome because Nick wants to grow his hair out, and I know a lot of you who watch my videos always wanna know the secrets to growing your hair out. And Nick's hair, I've never cut Nick's hair before. He, this is the first time we're meeting in person. We connected through social media. So I'm gonna break down Nick's hair live with you all so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do some explaining to Nick because it's also for his benefit, but also for your benefit. If you are trying to grow your hair out, okay? So Nick was kind of talking about the looks. I said, Nick, what kind of hairstyle do you want? He's an actor, he's a model, and he wants to change up his hairstyle a bit. So the Timothy Chalamet, right? Um, what other actor maybe you like? John Stamos. John Stamos. Yep, a little bit longer. So that kind of, and I've done a lot of videos like that, but all those actors and people he's mentioned, their hair is usually a lot longer than this, okay? But he's been growing his hair out from like the TikTok hairstyle that he saw on my channel. <laughs> yeah. um, so what I wanna do is break down Nick's hair go over some key points and features and things that I'm gonna suggest. Because a lot of times people, like for example, somebody who was maybe cutting your hair before or his hair may not be explaining to you as the client like what needs to be shared. You may just be clueless and you're just going in and getting a haircut and they're not really being thorough with you. And I always, always talk about that the stylist or the barber, whoever it is, has to communicate, all right? If you're going to someone, there's a chance that a hair massacre could happen, right? <laughs> a hair crime scene could happen, and then the detectives have to come, helicopters fly in, the fire department, everything shows up, it's a disaster, okay? So what we're trying to prevent is a hair crime scene, and I'm gonna help Nick out. So what we're gonna do now is get a little more closer to his hair so I can show you what we're going to do today. So Nick's hair, you're probably looking at it saying, oh my gosh, he has great hair, and he does. Nick's hair, to me, is of a finer texture, but he, he has a lot of hair. He's one of those individuals who, each strand itself, I could literally pluck out hairs like this. It's more of a finer, fragile type of consistency or texture, but he has so much hair, and that's what gives it the appearance of his hair looks like super, super thick. So in his situation, because he wants to grow it out, right, the first thing that you have to look at is the current balance of the haircut, okay? How is his hair, or how is your hair, if you're having this done or being evaluated, is what is the current situation of your hair? So I'm gonna turn you this way so we can see kind of a side profile. So as looking at Nick's hair through here, the first thing that I see is that, okay, we've got some kind of length in through here, right? It's, it's very long right in this area, and then it goes down to where it's a little bit kind of I don't want to say choppy, but it's a little unbalanced into here as compared to this. All right, so the first thing I like to do is look at areas that I find or I call trouble areas. We're gonna troubleshoot. All right, Nick's hair, we're gonna troubleshoot. And so there's a lot of shortness going on into here, a lot of un very, very unbalanced into here. So we've got really short, really long, really short. A lot of these layers on top are very, very short compared to some of the length into here. This is what I call reconstructive surgery, okay? It's time for reconstructive, you have health insurance, don't you? Yeah. No, 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 okay. So it, I call this reconstructive surgery, and keep going, keep going. It's very important that you all understand this because you may not know what's happening. You didn't know this probably, right, Nick? I did not. You didn't know, he didn't know this, okay? Because no one's gonna tell him this, and if, if, if the person who's cutting his hair or cutting your hair, chances are they're not gonna explain to you how they're creating an unbalanced shape on your head, okay? It's like, it's like, yeah, I was supposed to cook the meat all the way through, but I didn't, it's partially raw, but still eat it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, so most of the times, you, you know, so what's important is that you all are seeing what's happening in through here, okay? I know I'm wearing a black shirt. Everyone hates when I wear a black shirt. So here, all right, we've got this, and then, so it's a bit shorter here, it's a bit longer in through here, a lot of times, if it's not layered properly, there's a lot of weird kind of movement that goes on. Usually it's because it's short up here and then longer in this area. What we need to do is get the top 
to where the top is longer and it weighs down all of this so you're not getting any sort of weird patterns or the hair is not swirling around in areas. That's all because of the weight isn't properly uh, connected together. And then back here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, again, you can even see this. Let me get out of the way. You can even see, look how, how all this is very, very long. So I'm going to reshape this. I'm going to kind of leave some parts alone because they don't need to be cut, right? I may just do some like texturizing or something. And then in through here, so Nick, when we were talking before, he was like, you know, I want to take the, take the sides down. And I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. If you want to take the sides down, we're going we're gonna to make this into a, a, a pretty cool modern mullet. But I don't think that's what we're going for. So again, it's one of those scenarios where I may thin this out a little bit. But if you are trying to grow your hair out, what you need to do and understand is that it has to go through an awkward phase. But if you have, you know, the right person who's cutting your hair or setting you up for success down the road, it can be cut in a way so that as it grows out, it's not going to be as bad. Okay. So here, a lot of this is going to be really just trimming and shaping up because his hair has to get down to about right into here. All this has to come down and connect. And then this top has to come, I would say all the way down to about right here as well. So he ha his hair needs some growing out. Um, what we're going to do is really just shape this up and I'm going to go over what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and then we'll uh, have a look at the end. So I'm ready to get going. Let's get started. All right, so we're starting in the back with Nick's hair, and what I'm going to do is just kind of section this out and create a roadmap of where I'm going to go with this haircut and what I'm going to do. So the first thing that I'm seeing, and hair always reacts a little bit differently when it's wet. The first thing I'm seeing is how much longer this is in through here, right, as compared to in through here. So what I want to do is I want to create a fairly strong foundation or base for this haircut, not only now, but for how it grows out like in the future. Cause I want this to literally grow out into a good shape. All right. So what I'm going to do is just bring this length up just ever so slightly down through here. Because like I mentioned before, I don't want this to end up looking like a mullet, right? That's not the kind of look we're going for. Nick is trying to get modeling gigs, acting gigs, so <laughs> we got to keep them looking, looking good. So the, the key to any sort of haircut is always creating a good solid foundation, AKA the length, right? The outline. That's something that I always talk about with any haircut that I do is creating a good solid foundation. And it could be as simple as literally cutting off like what I'm doing a half an inch, an inch, whatever it is, just to create that shape. So now as I bring all this hair down, most of the time the hair may just jump a little bit, but now I know that I've created a strong foundation just right in through here. I know it may, may seem so simple and you're like, uh, you just cut like a little bit of hair, but that's important. Okay. It's that important for me, especially because this is the first time I'm cutting Nick's hair. Uh, I've never worked with his hair before, so I'm really trying to establish a good foundation here. And then also what happens as you're combing the hair when it's wet, right? It, it definitely has a different type of reaction compared to when it's dry. So let's turn this way a little bit. So now what we're going to do is I have to start to look at all of this. All right. All of this has to eventually at some point flow into each other. Now, as I mentioned before, the sides are pretty short compared to where it needs to be to blend in with this. So what I'm going to do, let's just turn this way okay, and head up just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now pull the hair out this way, more vertically out from the head. And I'm just going to create a slight angle going up this way because all of this has to go shorter to longer. So all I'm doing is I'm literally just pulling the hair out, holding it in my fingers, and just creating my own nice little shape working all the way from here up into here. And you could, you could see in this area right here that it's still relatively short compared to the rest of it. But this is why I'm setting this up for down the road. And now as I pull all this, you know, look how short it is compared to the rest. So, this is going to help 
even though it's very, very minimal, but sometimes that's all it takes. What I'm doing now is I'm, and even, even from this alone, let's just turn this way a little bit, okay. Even from, from this alone, what I've done is I've created a shape now it's a bit stronger going down this way. It may seem so minimal, but it's, it's, that, it's that important, all right? Let's go right towards the front and through here. All right, this is very, very important too. So this part right here was a little bit unbalanced in through there. So I'm just gonna strengthen that, uh, that line up in through here so that as it grows in, it's gonna be a little more solid in through this area and flow much better, okay? So now, I know you may think uh, you didn't even do anything. Believe it or not, this was a lot, okay? <laughs> From just, it's like, it's like building a house. This is, we're doing construction here. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna work on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna comb the hair straight towards me and I'm gonna look for those areas in the corners there that I think really need to be kind of a little more uh, balanced and it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Now the good thing is is that I'm not seeing tons of hair that are very, very different in length, all right? I'm not seeing like, oh, this area is, you know, three times as long as the other, which is a good sign, but sometimes the hair could still be unbalanced even if it's still um, you know, fairly even. So I'll, I'm gonna save this part to show everybody here. So again, combing it straight down, building the foundation, and we are pretty much good to go. There we go. So you can see, now we've got that flow working in through here. Let's turn a little more this way. All right, so now, this front area. So we can see this, now we have the angle going in through here, working all the way down, which is beautiful. Now this front part in through here, as you can see, it's pretty much straight across and then goes longer. All right, so it's a bit more of a triangular shape, which is okay, but in my opinion, for this to actually look a bit more and grow into the style that he's going for, I'm just gonna balance this out because there's a lot of pieces that are a bit longer in places that it shouldn't be. Okay, let's turn towards the camera a little bit more. So here's the very, very front. I'm bringing all this hair down right towards me and I'm gonna snip this part right here in the front. And it's something that needs to be done for the hair to grow out a bit more balanced and to have a stronger shape, all right? Because before, what was happening is all these little like chunks and hair and things that are missing, that's gonna cause all sorts of weird patterns when you're styling the hair. So for me to balance this out now, it's just gonna have a much stronger shape. And you can see already, even in through this area, it's got a much stronger flow, all right? And that's just with it being wet. So what we've done right now is literally just created, and I'm gonna show you in the very, very front, we created a stronger shape. Let's turn towards the camera. And you can see the hair comes down to a point, which is exactly what I wanted, because this hair has to be the longest point. The front has to be longer and then flow back into everything else. We still haven't even layered it or done any of that yet. But this goes down to about the tip of the nose. I know a lot of people are always like obsessed with, well, how long is it, how long is it? Well, there it is. Keep in mind, when the hair dries, it's gonna shrink up. That's why you need to have this area longer, but it also has to be longer the right way. It can't be like really long here, short here, long here, and that's kind of what was happening. So just by me doing this, <clears throat> we've strengthened up the shape on Nick's hair, and it's a good start, definitely a good start. So now, where do we go from here? The next, I have no idea, where do we go, Nick? I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> so the next thing is to always make sure that you're combing the hair or brushing the hair to see how it naturally falls. So Nick's hair has a natural parting right in this area, okay? So I'm brushing it back and I'm working off of where the hair naturally goes, which is awesome. So now, I'm looking at this. Remember before in the back, I said there was a lot of hair that was a bit unbalanced right in through here. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually take this area on first. And this is a good 
way to kind of gauge what's going on. So I'm pulling all the hair up, I'm seeing what's happening here, and then I'm gonna be able to then judge what's going on through here to blend it better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this all straight back, and a lot of times what I, what I try to look for when you comb the hair is to see where things start to spring up, all right? So right in this area, I'm seeing that the hair is, is kind of springing up right in through here, but then all of this is so long compared to this, it's literally like almost twice or three times the length. You can see the, you can see the imbalance right there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna troubleshoot this by literally finding that area and going right to it. So I'm gonna go right to this area and I'm gonna blend it and work it in to the shortest point on top. That way, as the hair grows out and as it's forming its shape, it's gonna be a lot more uh, balanced and it's gonna just grow out so much better. And you will know, right, with your own hair, you will know if something is not right with your hair. You can, by the, whether the way it's, it's not laying properly or it starts to feel really, really heavy at some point, you're like, man, something's going on with my hair. It just doesn't, I don't know, something's not right. And it's usually because of something like this. And it could be just a small area of hair that needs to be fixed and worked on. And that's all we're doing. Again, I'm cutting Nick's hair to have it grow out into a haircut, into a shape, okay? Now I'm gonna work down towards the bottom half and I'm simply gonna just balance this entire haircut out. That's all I'm doing is balancing this entire thing out. And if you're you know, going into your stylist, you're going into your barber or whoever, they, you know, a lot of times maybe they aren't as thorough as this or they may not be as skilled or I don't know, there could be a whole number of things. If you feel you're not getting the proper you know, service or you're not happy with how it's coming out or something doesn't seem right, you have every, every right to say, you know, all right, and, and in your head, I'm not, going, I'm not going to go back, I'm going to find somebody else. You have every right to do that because it's, it's your hair basically, you know? And don't ever feel like, oh, this has been my guy or my stylist for, you know, 10 years and, you know, communicate. The, the, sometimes they, all it takes is you saying, hey, you know what, something's not going on right here. Uh, you talk with them and the next thing you know, they fix it up and they patch it up and you're good to go. And then problem solved. It's not always that easy, <laughs> but you know, that's what it takes sometimes. All right, so now you can see into here, already it's much more balanced. I'm trying to get this to be the dominant part of the head as compared to this, okay? And now when I pull this hair down this way, believe it or not, it's crazy, but it looks like it's three times longer up here than it does down here. All because of me going in and reshaping this and balancing this. So now when I run my fingers through, Right? It's got a, a beautiful, perfect flow going all the way. You can see it. Look at, all, look at these, these layers. See how it all just works this way? And if I comb it over this way, all right, we're in much better shape now. And, and simply because I just did some retweaking and some rebalancing to the haircut. Because I want his hair to be longer in certain areas as compared to other areas. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in this way vertically and I'm just gonna kind of reshape and recheck some of the layers to make sure that it's all, again, balanced. And I like to, I like to cut different um, sections and work in different parts of the head and comb it a variety of times, a number of times, just so I can see how the hair is reacting based off of the more I mess around with it, because the more I mess around with it, AKA combing the hair, running my fingers to it, styling it, whatever it is, the hair, I say it always, it talks to you. It basically says, hey, what, you know, this is what I got going on here. So by me constantly running my fingers to it and constantly like going like this, and it just, it's react, I'm looking for the reaction. And that's what I'm trying to do is get a reaction out of his hair. Hopefully a good reaction. <laughs> But that's what I'm looking for, is a, is a good reaction. Um, Nick, I just wanna ask you real quick, as I'm going over all this stuff and being so kind of technical and explaining all this to the viewers, 
is this, I mean, what's your, what's your kind of feedback right away from just hearing me uh, talk about and explain what I'm doing? Is it like, are you like, whoa, this is crazy? <laughs> it's crazy to me because when I would go to my current stylist and try to explain to her what I want, she would not be, you know, as thorough as thorough as, as what you're doing right now. <laughs> it's crazy to see, you know, the technique and everything. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, <laughs> you know, take over? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, um, but that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. And I appreciate that. And that's what I try to, and that comes from my background with like anything good that somebody does, it could be explained to someone else, right? Yeah. If you know how to hook, cook something really good, if you know how to do something, just, you know, you can explain it very easily. Um, but even sometimes then people don't have, they have a hard time explaining, you know? Uh, all right, so now the back is done. And I just wanna, wanna zoom out a little bit here and I wanna show you all kind of where we're at because we still have to work into the front and all that. But let's just go face on this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my fingers through the hair like this. And I'm just gonna like pull out some of the hair and I wanna just, I want you to see what we have going on with, with the shape. So right now, you know, as this grows, it's gonna grow out so much more balanced that down the road, okay, what's gonna happen is that it's not gonna look, let's even turn this way from the side, you can really see it. Nick, I don't know if you can see, can you see? <laughs> but even that angle, see that? Yeah. See on there? It looks like it's just flowing much better, yeah. okay? Keep turning this way. So I wanna show everyone the side view here. So yeah, even from this perspective, like, yeah, it's a little more, a little bit shorter, but it's also a lot more tame and it flows better. And that's what's really important when it comes to hair cutting. So now what I wanna do is we're gonna work in through the top here. So I'm gonna comb all this hair straight up this way. And I'm literally just looking for balance, okay? I'm not looking to cut the top really any shorter I'm just looking to go in and look for any sort of areas that need to be trimmed up and shaped up. Now, I can already see what's happening. Before I mentioned it was really short here and then long and heavy in through here, okay? And that's why I am going in and just really analyzing the hair first and I'm not cutting a whole lot on top because the top isn't really supposed to be super, super short. All right, the top is supposed to be kind of the longer point and it's supposed to all grow into and flow into the bottom here. So what I wanna work on is the corners. And the corners are the area in through here where the, the head shape rounds out. And that is what I'm looking for. So I'm looking to see what's happening down in through here so that as it's growing, it's gonna be much more balanced. And now we're gonna go right to the bottom. And as you can see here, I'm just skimming and lately going through everything. I'm not looking to take a whole lot of hair off. I'm looking just to really, really, really uh, balance this out. And sometimes it's, it could be just, you know, your hair's growing out. It has nothing to do with the, the last haircut. I've seen some massive, massive disasters. This really isn't bad Nick at all. So. You know, it's just really, it's really me kind of cleaning up and reshaping it to where it needs it, you know? And sometimes um, that's all it takes. Have you ever had, Nick, I'm gonna ask you a question which I know a lot of people want to know. Have you ever had a bad haircut, like butcher job? Oh yeah. You have? <laughs> what, 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 did you see it like instantly or when was it? Like, do you remember? Well, the worst haircut I ever got was uh, when COVID first happened and my dad got a pair of buzzers. <laughs> Uh-oh. And yeah, he, he, the clip fell off. Oh, so he looked like me. <laughs> I, had, I had like a chunk missing. Oh my God. Yeah, that was probably the worst. That's, that could have been a new trend, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Just a patch gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And then, and then did it take like forever to grow back in or was it like? Um, well, I had short hair then, so it wasn't as bad. Okay. Um, Cause it was like in the fade area. Right, right. But yeah, then there's been other times where I've went to like a barber mm -hmm. and you tell them to do something and they just give you the complete wrong, you know? Right, opposite. Yeah. Yep. 
I wouldn't trust a bald guy with my hair, but <laughs> that's you, uh, whatever. No. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this way. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm actually holding all the hair out horizontally because what I wanna do in through here is just slightly remove a little bit of weight, but also create a little more shape in through here so that the top actually ends up being longer and looking longer than all this down and through here. Because if the hair, even with the weight itself, is a little bit unbalanced, what's gonna happen is it's all going to just, it's not gonna look right. And now, now you can even see, like I did back here, this is actually looking, I don't know how it, I do it, this looks three inches longer than it was before, okay? But it's all because of the shaping, right? It's all because of the shaping of, of the haircut. And also with these haircuts, like the ones I've done in the past uh, on my channel, I do a lot of this technique right in through here because it, it really just layers and removes a lot of weight right in through this side here. Can you turn around this way? Keep going, keep going. So right in through here where, where I just did it, now what's happening is we're able to get a much softer kind of texture in through the bottom half and not so much throughout the top because that's where, that's how this hairstyle really should, should go is the top really kind of weighs down the rest of it. Because if not, you know, then this is gonna be just like really, really wavy and crazy up here. It's just not gonna look right. So now what I wanna do is just balance out this top here. And there's just a little piece right there I'm gonna cut. And I've said this in the past, I've actually learned this many, many years ago. It's not how much you cut, but it's what you cut, <laughs> you know? Um, just like the old saying, it's not the size of the hard drive, it's where you put the disc, okay? And uh, no, <laughs> I'm a comedian, Nick, part-time, just like, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's all about just cutting the right hair and not just like, oh, I gotta see a bunch of hair on the floor. It's, it's sometimes the biggest, in, in my experience, the best haircuts I've done, the least amount of hair is on the floor. So that's my, that's my take on that. All right, so let's go in through here. Same thing. I'm pulling all the hair out horizontally just to add a little more texture and softness down right in through this area here so that as this grows out, it's gonna weigh down over this. And instead of having all the waves and craziness up here, now we're gonna have all the texture down and through here. And you can already see, I mean, just, just in the, in the uh, here in the video alone, and I'm looking on the side monitor, that's why we keep looking over here. I can already see what's happening, right? It looks like a completely different shape. The hair on top now is longer, and now it's much more balanced going into this, right? It's like night and day, even though I didn't have to cut like, you know, half your hair off, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, all right, what I wanna do now is I wanna go over some options for styling and there's a few different things you can do with this. Now, Nick already is a user of Tidal Wave. You like Tidal Wave, right, Nick? Oh, yeah, game changer. <laughs> this stuff is, yes, he said a game changer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray a couple of sprays. I like to overdo it sometimes, so I'm gonna stop from spraying. <laughs> and a few different options. You can literally let this air dry, okay? You can set it and forget it. And what's gonna happen with this product is if you kind of scrunch it in, right, and you just let it air dry, his hair should dry very, very similar to this shape. Let's just turn this way so we can get a nice side, side view. It's gonna dry similar to how it looks right now. It's just gonna end up being, you know, not damp. It'll be dry, okay? So now there's, there's that option, or there's the option where you can blow dry it, and try to create a little bit of texture, but I kind of like it. Now, Nick, you're looking into the monitor, you can see yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see a difference already? Like, oh yeah, everything's flowing way more. It's yes. Way more even. Right. And you see in through here how it's, it's thicker in through here? Like it looks- It looks longer. Longer and it looks, yeah. right? It's, it's, it's crazy. So all just from shaping it. Now the thing is, is okay, sometimes we sacrifice, all right, well, you know, you cut half inch here, cut, 
But the, prop, the, the, the benefit of this is that as it grows, you're gonna see more of the benefit long-term. <laughs> and that's, that's the unique thing I do when I cut hair in situations like this. A month from now, two months from now, you're gonna be like, oh my God, how does my hair look so good? Ah, salon guy, you know, when he's even cut my hair, <laughs> you'll, it'll start to really take shape. You may look at it now and be like, okay, yeah, it looks good, man, shaped it up. Trust me, in, in a month, you're gonna even notice. You know what I mean? You're gonna notice. Uh, so the second option with drying it, this is my hair dryer, Nick. This is my Dyson. own hair dryer. No, this isn't a Dyson. This is my hair dryer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I can't afford to make something like a Dyson. <laughs> but this is uh, the hair dryer that I have on my store. It's good for travel. Um, it's an ionic hair dryer. It looks like it, but it's not. But this is what I use in my videos. I sell this on my website. The, the second option is if you wanted to dry this, okay, and you want it to get a much more smoother kind of look on top, then you can do that. I would suggest doing this whole thing with the blow dryer, with the nozzle, and also just your hands alone. That's it, just your hands alone, because you want this to have a really, really nice flow to it, okay? The last option would be with using a diffuser, which this dryer comes with a diffuser, okay, and the nozzle. A diffuser is designed to kind of diffuse the air and the heat so that you can scrunch it and get a lot more kind of curl or wave uh, as it dries. That's when I would use something like this, okay? Now, since he's a model and doing some acting, it all depends on the gig. It depends on the kind of look that, you know, whatever he's doing a shoot for, what they want. It all depends, okay? But for his day-to-day -day stuff, this is a, is a very, very nice, awesome hairstyle on its own. Again, you can set it and forget it. You can blow dry it. So let's do a light blow dry right into here. And I just wanna show people the technique. So as you can see, I'm just raking my fingers through. Raking my fingers through the hair. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kind of stretch this hair out this way so it maintains that weight into here. Now you notice a lot of times when people do, when they're doing their hair, they start to go like this and shake it all over the place. That just creates a mess, all right? You don't wanna do that. That just creates a big mess. Instead of what you want to do is you want to just work your hands down and dry it in a very subtle way that supports the style. In the back, I'll you know, kind of rough up in the back a little bit. I'm going to spin you around this way, Nick, so everyone can see what's going on back here. All right, and then from here, you see all the hairs down. I want to smooth this out a little bit, and then we bring this all back, and then that's how you get, you know, some volume in the hair. That's how you get some texture. And you can see the hair just falls right into the part where it's supposed to fall into, okay? And then the back, you can kind of scrunch the back up a little bit, add a little bit of, you know, some volume and some texture into here. But the good thing about this is, you know, you're gonna get the, the hair to grow out a lot more balanced, okay? So let's turn this way. And I want you to see, just right here, you can see this beautifully. It has a much, much better flow, 
a much stronger shape in through here. Let's keep going all the way throughout the back here. I'm gonna clean up his neck here in a minute. Head back a little bit, there we go. Has a nice balance to it, keep going. All right, here's the really the, big, the money shot right through here. As you can see, all of this now is so much thicker and you can see the flow of the layers, right? All of this just really looks amazing. And you still have some volume, you still have some texture. It's just more of an easy to maintain style without looking out of control. And all this literally looks like it's a whole new haircut on top, all because I blended it, okay? So, um, Nick, how do you feel, man? Have you had a chance to look at yourself yet, really? Way back. Kind of? <laughs> little camera, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it's really, like, do you feel, like, could you sense what I, what, I, what I was doing, like, when I was doing it, as I was doing it, you're like, oh my god, like, I can, I, I get it. Yeah, even looking in, like, the side monitor, you can just, like I said before, it looks way more even mm -hmm. and um, not just, like, all over the place. Yeah, you know? yeah, so. yeah. All right, well, we're going to be seeing some more of Nick. I'm going to be doing a few videos of him, um, you know, a couple of styling videos and such, but I appreciate Nick uh, coming on the channel. Do you want stalkers to know who you are <laughs> sure, they can, sure. um, like I'll, i i can put your uh, your instagram in the in the video i'll put the instagram um but is that cool if people yeah, follow you on instagram sure. okay yeah. now i'm warning nick you're gonna get people dming you nick don't dm him like you do with all my models you guys you're, you're all out of control okay <laughs> but anyway thank you nick for uh, coming on the channel man uh, we're gonna see more videos with him I appreciate it. If you are interested in purchasing any of my products, especially Tidal Wave or the blow dryer, yep. <laughs> use code YouTube20, that's YouTube0, YouTube20 at shop. I'm giving away my own discount code, Nick. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting my own business by doing this. <laughs> YouTube20 for 20% off at shop.theslaga.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.